Hello, who's speaking, please? Hello, is that Jeremy Corbyn? Yes. It is Stephen Hawking. All right, very funny. Who is this? Tom? Hillary? Sugar? No, Jeremy. This is not a prank. I would like to invite you to speak at the forthcoming Big Data Innovation Summit. The Big Data Innovation Summit? You want me to speak there? But why? As you might know, I am a long-term labor voter, mm. and I would like to give you the opportunity to spread your message on the use of technology in society. Well, that would be a tremendous honor, Professor Hawking. Um, yes, count me in, absolutely. Okay, I will send you details. See you then. Fantastic, thank you very much. Okay, bye. Wow, Stephen Hawking. Well, this is exciting, Jezza. It is, John, but I can't help feeling slightly out of my element at a tech conference. Ah, oh, you'll be fine, Jezza. You know what to say. Yeah, well, anyway, I'm feeling a bit nervous, so I think I might go and find the toilet. See you back here? Uh, yeah, sure. Hmm. Hello, is there someone in there? Sorry, occupied. Ah, sorry, okay. Suppose I could use the handicapped toilet? Don't see why not. Oh, Professor Hawking. He took me by surprise there. Jeremy, what are you doing? I'm just using the toilet. But this is my cubicle. Can you not read the sign? Well, yes, of course I can read the sign, but someone was using the other one and... Well, then, you wait. Well, I couldn't really wait. It was an emergency. I had to go. There is only one cubicle for me, and you were using it. You know, if you were here, I'd have given you first dibs, but honestly, I don't think I've seen a handicapped person in the toilets. Maybe ever. So I thought I'd take my chances. A handicapped person? Yeah. Oh, how nice. Oh, come on. It is called disabled. Disabled. That doesn't sound so hot. I do not really care what it sounds like to you. I think I prefer handicapped to disabled. Look, just stay out of my cubicle, douchebag. Douchebag? Ladies and gentlemen, today's first guest speaker, leader of the Labour Party, Jeremy Corbyn. He's unelectable, you know. Yeah, I heard that. Jeremy who? I think they said he's a labourer. Something like that. Oh, right, OK. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honour to be here today. We now face the task of creating a new Britain from the fourth industrial revolution, powered by the Internet of Things and Big Data to develop cyber-physical systems and smart factories. Thank you. Uh, so, in a week where the budget has hit the self-employed with rises to national insurance contributions. That is my vision for tech startups under a Labour government, and I pledge a broadband kettle for every household. Thank you. A broadband kettle? He doesn't know what he's talking about, does he? Ah, uh, Professor Hawking, it's your turn. OK. What me smoke this fun? Our next speaker requires no introduction other than to say he's probably the smartest man in the universe. Professor Stephen Hawking. Oh, finally, someone who knows what they're on about. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, what a great audience. OK, let's get this show on the road. Today, I would like to talk to you about two things. Firstly, the robo-apocalypse that threatens to destroy us all. Robo-apocalypse? What we need is a world government to control the advancement of technology before we all perish in a nuclear holocaust. Blimey. I am an optimist, so I believe that humankind will rise to meet these challenges. What I am not optimistic about, however, is the future of the Labour Party under Jeremy Corbyn. And this is the second thing I would like to discuss today. Hmm. Well, that was a bloody disaster. I don't know, John. I thought my speech went all right. Yeah, as long as you overlook the fact that it was followed by the smartest man in the world slagging you off for 15 minutes straight. Yeah, well, at least I got our message out there. I don't know, Jez. I fear you might have been gazumped by robo-apocalypse. Well, let's just see what the media go with, shall we? Anyway, I need the loo. All this free tea is going right through me. Oh, well, looky here. Professor Hawking, I presume? Hello. Using the regular toilet, are we? Someone was using the disabled toilet. Well, then you wait, Professor Hawking. You wait. 
Ah, <laughs> uh, you can be Corbin. Good day to you, Professor. What an asshole. So then I said to him, You wait. You wait. Very good, Jez, but I can't help but feel we've made a powerful enemy there. No, I couldn't care less, John. I've just outsmarted the smartest man in the world. I feel like celebrating. Let's go get some more of that free tea. There's a stool just... Ah! Ah! Oh, my back! Jez, you okay? Oh, what happened? Oh, no, I'm not okay. Oh. Why is the floor covered in water? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Corbin, that's my fault. I saw you coming for more tea, so I thought I'd check if my kettle had broadband, like you said. Mm. I'll turn it upside down, see if there are any instructions on the bottom, and all the water fell out. Mm. Jess, do you feel like you can stand up? No, put my back out, John. Hang on, we've got some spare wheelchairs knocking about. I'll go get one. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Corbin. Don't worry, lad, just go fetch the wheelchair, all right? Oh, look. If it isn't Jeremy Corbin riding around in agony on the floor. Oh, go away. Ha. Uh, ha. Uh, mm. Who's the handicapped one now? I thought it was disabled. Hey, everyone. Let's all laugh at Jeremy Corbin. I know a black hole when I see one, and Corbin's leadership is the biggest black hole I can possibly conceive of. Ha <laughs> ha it's true. His leadership is a black hole. Ha ha ha. What a wanker. Ha ha ha.